<laughs> well, well, when you get a load of you, uh, yeah, you can drop the dukes, laddie. I'm not in the mood for fighting. Are you what passes for entertainment in this nightmare? Because I ain't laughing. I, I can see that. I see you got one of the executioner's heads there. Any idea what this one does? This is a shrunken head. You put this on, and you'll shrink to the size of a wee little leprechaun. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead, if you'll pardon the pun, and give it a try? You see? Damned useful, really. Why, at that size, you can go into places you normally couldn't. Pipes, hollow logs, rat holes. You see? <laughs> Fun, ain't it? <laughs> Kinda like Alice in Wonderland, only without the eat me part. <laughs> well, speaking of fairy tales, since you live here, why don't you make like Mother Goose and tell me a story? What's the deal with this horseman character? Uh, the horseman first appeared the night after Pitt brought one of his boys out here to dispose of him. Left the body down by the lake, but there were no head attached. Yeah, there's a lot of that going around. Well, the body disappeared, and right after that, the horseman showed up, riding on that big ghost horse of his, flames shooting out of his nose. Yeah, the horse, that is. The horseman, well, he ain't got a nose to speak of, of course. <laughs> I need to find this horseman. Where is he? Find the horseman? Nobody finds the horseman. He finds you. Listen, you mick bastard. I don't have a choice. He's got his lousy mitts on an acquaintance of mine, a doctor that might be the only person who can fix me up. If you want to go searching for the horseman, you're on your own. I'll be off now, but I'm sure we'll see more of each other while you're in the hollow. <laughs> if you survive, of course. <laughs> Ta! Thank you. 